Right, regarding a death on the northwest side, family tells First Coast News the Jacksonville Sheriff Office has confirmed to them the body found along Garden Street on Jacksonville's northwest side yesterday is that of 21 year old Shawnell Span Mahone. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot spoke with the uncle of the victim and joins us now with these details tonight. Kevin Davis says Shawnell was like a son to him, tried to teach him everything that he could. He's now left having to plan his funeral. He had an extremely large smile, uh, he would help anybody. Right now my entire family is hurting. This senseless violence has to stop. It has been exactly one week since Kevin Davis and his family has seen or heard from his 21-year-old nephew, Shawnell Span Mahone. He sent a text message to his girlfriend saying that he was headed home. That's the last time we've seen him. Davis has now left planning a funeral. After he says the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office confirmed to him the body that was discovered along Garden Street on Jacksonville's northwest side Tuesday is his nephew. We will grieve properly. We will definitely be participants in the Stop the Violence, Increase the Peace campaign on September 1st being put on by the Northside Coalition. Police are suspecting foul play. Davis points to the last spot Mahone was seen along West 18th Street on Jacksonville's north side. From my mother's back door to the property behind her is 30 feet. So in that 30 feet, he disappeared. Throughout the morning, investigators blocked off 17th and 18th Street around Davis's mother's home, the last location Mahone was known to be at, according to his family. The thing that we found strange is that the place where he actually disappeared was burnt this morning at 4 a.m. Davis has bumped up a reward to $10,000 for anyone with information that leads to an arrest in connection to his nephew's death. He also has a message to the community. I'm encouraging all of Chanel's friends not to create any more havoc or violence. We need to stop killing each other. Now, police have not confirmed if the two scenes are related. A crime scene tape here, as you can see behind me, has been taken down. Again, this reward has been increased from $5,000 to $10,000. On Jacksonville's north side, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side. Mm -hmm.